some reason it was allowed to go through, the entire capital was full of people, black people, and there were white people there, but mostly black, because at that time in the South, it was horrendously different than it is now. And what's funny is, since it was an economic speech that uh, Pastor King had, had talked on, the unemployment rate for blacks was, I think, 48% nationwide 50 years ago. Guess what it is today? Exactly, the same thing. So that march did change some things. We have the right to ride the front of the bus and go to any McDonald's we want to go to, but we still have not achieved dignity. We not have not made people understand that we are human and we need to share that so that everyone is treated the same. I don't know if queer is a politically correct term for gay people, but we all are created the same. And that's what the march was about. We're tired of this shit, and we're not taking it anywhere. Although some of it happened, we need an anniversary to remind people that it all hasn't happened. The dream still has not been achieved. Little black children and little white children are put in a school where they're still treated differently. And that was the whole thing of the march. Let's not treat each other differently. Let's start treating each other the same. Let's lower the volume of hatred between each other. Let's recognize the prejudice that is there and become in touch with it. Because as much as white people hate black people, black people, black people hate white people. And as long as that is fostered and simmered, it will come to a head again. Someday there will be another revolution in America, such as the one where we were getting hosed and beaten and jailed because we wanted to sit in a restaurant or ride on a bus anywhere we wanted. 